welcome if you're new via here be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel the topics that we'll be discussing today police officer and taxi driver cut down in central village four people including three women died in a major truck accident in manchester four persons reportedly died after sustaining injuries when a market truck overturned along Pennell road in manchester in the wee hours of wednesday morning Approximately 2.30 a.m., five persons were traveling on a market truck from Coleyville to Coronation Market in Kingston. The fire department confirmed that they received a call at 4 a.m. and arrived on the scene to find three persons trapped unresponsive in the front of the truck. It is also reported that another person was seriously injured after jumping from the moving truck. More videos from other angles will be available on our Instagram page at Chop City TV, that is C H O P C I T Y underscore TV. If you're interested in seeing them, just run on over to the page. This is so sad. Just imagine you decide say you have to skip sleeping just for reach a tone early for make some money, for try to make two ends meet for your family, and buck up in a something like this. People bear in mind, you know, this accident took place from 2 a.m. And after 4 them find them. 4 a.m. before the fire brigade get a call for no say something like this happen. So you know so them people they are go to wait for two hours straight before them even get help. So even if the little help of them did I get could I help save one of them or one more. Adjust the timing show everything off. I see a lot of persons that say I them call it down upon themselves because they see the type of weather we will have and them still push out for come town. But people, before on a start for judge, remember so when the storm done, them still have them family for feeding you know? them. And not only that, the people them did look upon the facts say them done have them ground provision, report at the ground, and if they make it stay upon them too long. Everything I got spoiled and that is the next loss. So maybe that is why them take it up on themselves for try for come out regardless. But we we'll understand why the people them have to travel from that time for each town on time. Remember you have people go to market from six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning before them go work. While you have a next day to go in at the midday and you have people go to market in the night too. Well before the curfew hours. So them people you yeah, try them best for reach a town on a reasonable time where them can pack out for sell enough before curfew so them can make it home back on time. At them thing yeah, the farmers them have to go through for go downtown Kingston go sell and then you have some away the buyers will go down there and I tell the people them how to sell them things. Not knowing the struggles where the people them go through behind all of this. And I must say, it is very surprising how many say nobody have grab up nothing. Because if we be honest, Jamaicans are known for that. Them just want to see a food truck crash down the road. Everybody run gone down there with them scandal bag. This for sure, you say, this touch the people, them wicked. Especially for the three ladies that was involved. All them did I do, you know, I just try to make ends meet for them family. Them just did I try to provide. So unfortunate. And people, nobody feel like say she has to look a carrot over this and little Irish over this though. It's a lot of money that you know, I look upon I go down the drain, you know, a lot of investment. So I just people three points gone, but a lot of money gone right down the train. And at this point, I want to take the time out to send out my condolences to the family and friends of these four persons. Reports are emerging from Central Kingston in St. Catherine that a body of another man was found close to where the police corporal was found dead on Wednesday. Police sources are reporting that the second body is believed to be a driver of who travelled to the community to conduct business with Corporal Delvin Jackson. Reports are that Corporal Jackson, who was stationed in Glengough St. Catherine, was shot and killed by unknown men in Central Village. Indications are that the lawman left work on Tuesday to purchase a motor car. In a video circulating on social media, the officer is seen lying on his side in the middle of the street beside a hill of mall. Viewers and subscribers, words in the street is that this police officer left work. He had some plans with a man to purchase a vehicle. So he decides say, alright, when he jump off of work, 
him go meet up for view with the vehicle. He was taken to the location by a taxi driver who goes by the names Anjo or Breeder. However, the corporal was found dead this morning in Central Village with multiple gunshot wounds to the head and upper body. Investigations later led to the body of the taxi operator on Big Lane in Central Village. Now, viewers and subscribers, this is suspected to be a robbery. We don't know if the policeman had the cash on him to purchase the vehicle or him just go look on the vehicle. But the police are saying this is a suspected robbery. Also, it is not sure if the police officer had a service gun on him. People, I said this in a previous video I did. It seems as if all business transaction of going start doing a police station. You can't meet with nobody on the roadside and decide say you're going to do no business with them. Because people cannot be trusted these days. And just the other day, a 17 year old boy lost his three points because him decide say more of a selling phone somebody get in contact with him make him know say yeah them interested in buying it them decide say them are gonna meet up for viewing and one the little boy not even get for return home them take him three points and also him phone no a police officer fall in the same exact trap now my advice to everybody once you do business with somebody where you never meet yet in your entire life, do it in a public space or on go on at the police station. All people where you know these days are set you up, so why you think a total stranger wouldn't have the same intention? When you go on at the police station, do the money transaction online, make them get a bank account and you wire it, you transfer it to them account. Or as I said before, meet them into the police station. At this point, prevention is better than cure. Viewers and subscribers, a video of the police officer is available and also a picture of the taxi driver. If you are interested in seeing those, all you have to do is go down in the description of this video where you will see a link to the Chopper City Telegram group. Just click on the link, you automatically join the group and the video and the picture will be there waiting on you. If you don't know how to go down in the description and you are interested in seeing them, just run on over to the Instagram page at Chopper City TV. That is C-H-O-P-C-I-T-Y underscore TV. Send me a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. People are your time now. I would love to hear what are your thoughts on these two stories down in the comment section. And remember, everybody opinion valid. So nobody afraid to leave your comments down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out and stay blessed and stay safe.